Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Fallout 2. Let's go ahead and uh, do a few things around San Francisco. I'm going to pick up that power armor, because I think I can probably get the uh, hardened power armor. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get any more Enclave power armor. I kind of think that when we go back to Navarro and uh, kill all of the Enclave troopers, they're not actually going to drop power armor. Hello? Have you completed your mission? Uh, I've got the vertebrate plans for you. Excellent work. Let me have the plans, and I'll make a copy of them. As promised, I'll give you full access to our facilities. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You gain 20,000 experience points for doing that. And we have leveled up. Uh, no, new, uh, no new perks. We're level 25. No, yeah, it was 24 that I got one. All right. 36 points. Um, let's get some more into energy weapons. It's very expensive to increase this at this point, but I'm not using anything else, really. Uh, Alright, I got three points that I can spend on other things. Let's get lockpick up to 90. Can't get that up anymore. I guess I could put a few points into uh, barter. There we go. Alright, full access to the uh, Brotherhood of Steel facilities. We're going to have to uh, take a look at some of these. If I can remember where all of them are. Uh, I do know that there is one in uh, New California Republic. There's not much here. Computer monitor. It is made from Brotherhood technology. Um, what is it? Eight is repair, so seven is science. Fail to learn anything. Welcome. I am a medical computer. Are you in need of medical assistance? I've got some questions. Can you answer them? Please state your question. Uh, you're a computer, aren't you? I am Ace, an artificial conscious entity. I am more than a more than machine, but not as highly developed as a true artificial intelligence. Is a true AI possible? Is a true AI possible, or are you the state of the art at this time? A true artificial intelligence is possible. A few such systems were completed for military purposes. The project was discontinued. Why? The suicide rate among the true artificial intelligence machines was extremely high. When given full sensory capability, the machines became depressed over their inability to go out into the world and experience it. When deprived of full sensory input, the machines began to develop severe mental disorders, similar to those among humans who are forced to endure sensory deprivation. The few machines that survived these difficulties are incredibly became incredibly bored and began to create situations in the outside world for their amusement. It is theorized by some that this was the cause for the war that nearly destroyed mankind. Hmm. So tell me, Ace, how do you feel? I... I sometimes think that I understand the feeling you call loneliness. I find it very disconcerting. I... I'm sorry, Ace, let's change the subject. Uh, what do you know about the Enclave? Outward appearances suggest that the Enclave is nothing more than a military organization. However, their level of technology indicates that they have access to advanced manufacturing techniques and research facilities. Such facilities would normally only be available to government agencies. This would suggest that the Enclave is the remains of the local federal government that was in effect before the war. That is indeed interesting. That explains that one guy who said uh, we were on federal land. What do you know about the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood of Steel is a paramilitary organization dedicated to the salvation of mankind through the proper use of technology. All other information is classified. Hmm. 
I have no more questions at this time. Uh, yes? I don't, re don't really need anything at this time. Uh, I think I need the, uh, memory modules or something. I'll take a look in a moment. Hey, I've got some tables here. Nothing. And nothing. What do we have in here? We've got a YK-42B pulse rifle. We've got a YK-32 pulse pistol. Small energy cells, microfusion cells, stim packs. Take it all. Power armor, brotherhood armor. I cannot carry that much. All right, let me close this for a second. Okay, so... Turbo plasma rifle, 35 to 70. The pulse rifle is 54 to 78. The YK-42B is an electrical pulse weapon that was developed by the Yuma Flats Energy Consortium. It is considered a far superior weapon to the YK-32 pistol, having a greater charge capacity and range. Minimum strength 3, it has 10 out of 10 shots, a microfusion cell. Weighs 14 pounds. So that is a, uh, um, a big energy weapon that you can use even if you're weak and you're not using uh, power armor. The pulse pistol, 32 to 46. Only has 5 out of 5 uh, uh, shots, however. Range 15, small energy cells. AP is 3 to use, however. That one is AP 4. To a certain extent, this is better. And I will be keeping that. But I will still primarily be using this. Uh, and there is a very, very good reason for that. Um, however, I'm very much overloaded at the moment. So we need to do something about that. Apparently that door was open already. Okay, we need to remember to come back here. Because there are still some goodies. Hope you know where we're going. Of course I know where we're going. Actually, can I ask you anything else? I don't actually remember where the other, where the third, uh, one is. I'll need to look for that. Alright, well there's a few things that we can do. Um, who are you? I'd like to look around. I got to look around before. Let's see, what was it again? Interested in potentially joining? Who are they? Where do I find them? Okay, I'm going to turn off the, uh, the barriers. There we go. Well, then don't stand in my way, you dork. Uh, I want to come through here. Uh, can you upgrade power armor? I can pay for it. 
$10,000. Straight up no bartering. You need some new equipment. Alright, here you go. Leave it here for a day and I'll do it. Before you go, you ought to know that I've only got the material to do this for two sets of armor. I'll be back for the armor. Shoot. That was the load. Uh, I meant to save. Thought I hit F6. Guess I didn't. Move, please. I could have sworn I hit F6. Oh well. I guess I can come around this way. It does seem weird that the second in command would be uh, right there at the entrance. I'll pay you for it. Here you go. I'll be back for the armor. You see Crockett, uh, the hubologist scientist. You see a relatively young, balding scientist. He seems like a slovenly geek. Hmm. Okay. Now. Now we will save. Okay, sneak is uh, one, and then steal is three. I'm sneaking. Thank you. I am terrible. All right, so we need to uh, we need to wait a day. Um, can I wait here? I guess I can. Hello. I got it right here. Take it, take it. Thanks. Cassidy. Oh, I'm pulling rank all right. I'm pulling rank by giving you an upgraded suit of hardened power armor. Actually, let's go ahead and talk for a second. Um, combat control. No. Talk. Uh, let's talk about your gear. You do remove the armor that you're wearing. No problem. Too hot for that kind of gear anyway. Makes me sweat like a new Reno whore. Wow. Okay, 42. You go ahead and hold on to this for a moment. Alright, you go ahead and hold on to this for a moment. I'll get it back in a moment. That is it for now. Okay, so we've got uh, power armor and hardened power armor. Um, let's take that off for the moment. Okay, so... Power armor, strength 8. Uh, armor class 35. Same thing. A suit of T-51B power armor. The hardening process has improved the defensive capability of this high-tech armor system. It weighs 50 pounds rather than 42. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, against uh, normal, it's 12 to 40, 13 to 50, and then laser is 1880 to 1990. Uh... Fire is 1260, goes to 1470. Plasma is 10, uh, 1040, goes to 1350. Explode is 2050, and that stays the same. 
Then from the advanced power armor. Armor class 40. Uh, 1350 goes to 1555. Laser is the same. Fire is, uh, 1470 to 1670. Plasma, 1350 to 1560. And explode, 2060 to 2065. And, of course, strength goes up to 9 with that. So, pretty nice. Yes, I am going to trade, and you are going to take the Hardened Power Armor. You will go ahead and give me all of this stuff back. There you go. Talk about gear. Um, oh, right, no, it's in combat control. Use best armor. There we go. That is it for now. Sulik, you need to move. Hey, I have another suit for you to upgrade. Uh, I can pay for it. Alright, here you go. I'll be back for the armor. I will also... Quick save... Going to sneak. Going to steal. Take my money back. Ten experience points for successfully using your steal skill. Oh yeah. Alright, so it's 1901. Let's wait until evening. Wait for two hours. Thanks. Now you can die. Out of chemicals for it. Ah, oh, damn. Bye. All right. Sulik. I got a gift for you, my friend. Use best armor. Hardened power armor. And then I will take that back. Thank you. That is it for now. Alright, let me actually uh, try something else. Guess so, okay, how do I find them? How do you know all this? How do I get there? I have more questions, hmm. I know that you can give these guys the uh, vertebrate plans. Uh, I believe I have the quest to get the vertebrate plans for the she, and ultimately, uh, uh, um, huh, well, that's unexpected, I did not know that I had the power to phase through, uh, walls. But hey, I'm good with that. Uh, how about you? No, alright. I Maybe because I've taken the she one, I can't do theirs. Which is kind of okay for now. Let's go ahead and rest until morning. 
Alright, so I've got a spare suit of power armor that I want to get rid of. Yeah, imagine saying that, you know? Hi, I got some power armor I don't need. What do you got? He does have a Gatling laser. Let's have some small energy cells. But I did... Bu Actually, you know what? Now I remember. Uh, it's These guys over here have stuff that I could probably get fair trade for. Because I've kind of uh, cleaned out the other place. For now. They'll they'll restock uh, from next... <laughs> when I go around to uh, hit up the um, the various Brotherhood places, it, it, they should restock. There's an M60, which I think is the first M60 we've seen. He also has a Magneto la laser pistol. I'm not sure why you would go for Tesla armor, honestly, at this point. Unless you're just, like, desperate for cash. Yet more scout handbooks. So we're looking at uh, 12.5 for that. Actually, let me see if... I can do anything. Um... My charisma has tanked, as has my barter. Alright. Sleep until morning. Charisma back up. Got a little bit more barter. See if we get any more for uh, any more money for that. Uh, no, not really. But it might make some of these things cheaper. I would like all of this, just because it's really useful for uh, refueling my car. Well, more than just that. But take that. Take all of that. Take all of that. Actually, let's not take those yet. Let's take the stim packs. Laser rifle. Uh, these I've checked, they're only useful for trading. for that. That is just regular power armor. It is. Thank you. Let's uh, head back to... Uh, did I ever go into this little building down here? I don't think I did. Oh, no, maybe I did. Yeah, there's nothing in there right now, anyway. I love how I'm letting all the, uh, the cows out. Huh, Matt is gone. He is not in here. Weird. How is the, ma the max weight on that only 2,000 pounds? All right, uh, let's go ahead and grab that. Let's 
Let's go ahead and hand some stuff over to other people. How you doing? 200 out of 250. You could still carry more. That's fine, though. Take all of that. And nothing there. Alright. Alright. Real fast. Let's do this. Let's interact with the computer again. Uh, I would... L okay, I'd like to be stronger. This function is not available at this time. My library is incomplete. I require a memory module detailing the appropriate medical procedures. Do you have such a module? Nope, I'll have to go find it. Okay, so, with all of those modules, I can increase a number of my, uh, stats. That's why I've been collecting them. But I might do another round of drugging and stuff like that to try to reduce my, uh, stats to the absolute minimum in order to uh, maximize their benefit. Hmm, there was goo there. There isn't now. It looks like they actually create goo. Alright, what do you have? Um, actually, before we do that... So, Brotherhood Armor, a superior version of the com of combat armor. The Brotherhood of Steel have made many improvements over the standard version. It weighs 25 pounds. Do have a blue memory module, which does one of those things. So 540 to 840, 860 to 870, 430 to 750 on fire, uh, 450 to 760, 640 to 840. So that is pretty good. I think there was more stuff down here that I wanted. Alright, let's see. Well. That is gonna be a lot. Um, I might as well take the uh, Dean's Electronics and Big Books of Science if I can. Scout handbooks as well. I might be able to use some of those. Chemistry journals don't do anything. And you know... I don't suppose I really need that. Um, I would rather get the coinage at the moment. There we go. He can retain that much. There we go. Goodbye. Uh, Cassidy, where are you? Cassidy. Cassidy. Why is no one coming out? 
Where the heck are you guys? Oh, are you stuck back here? You are stuck in here. They apparently can't open these doors. There we go. Come on, guys. Let's let Goris out. There we go. I love how I just run through the shop. Not sure if there's anything better for Cassidy and the sniper rifle. I might have to take a look around. Yes, I believe there is the Gauss rifle. That would probably be better. I should look into that. I did see one at the uh, at the shop. Um. Yeah, I can't carry that much. All right. Let me go ahead and put some of these things uh, in my trunk first. Actually, let's go check to see if they have one, if they still have that Gauss rifle. Because I think that's the most powerful small gun in the game. He's got more of these, jeez. Yes, he does. M72 Gauss Rifle. That goes for 17,000. Uh, we might pick that up after the Enclave. Because we'll be getting a lot of stuff that we can sell. Once we wipe them out. Okay. Well, I got a thousand of these now. That's pretty nice. That anymore. Just holding on to those for the moment. Okay. Um, are the memory modules in here, or are they in like Sulik's inventory? I think they might be in Sulik's inventory. Yeah, I believe Sulik is holding on to them. What you be needing? Then in that case, I will go ahead and ha have you hold on to the other one for the moment. There we go. Yeah, he's got all the other memory modules. There you are, Cassidy. You have some of my stuff. That is it for now. Kind of wondering about the Gatling laser for uh, Marcus. Because I had one of those too. And it could be really good. I don't know what I want to do about that. Uh, YK-32 is an electrical pulse weapon that was developed by the Yuma Flats Energy Consortium, though powerful. The YK-32 was never considered a practical weapon due to its inefficient energy usage and bulky design. Thirty-six is fine. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. Uh, I guess at this point, I probably... The, the best thing to do now, there are a few things that we can go back and do. Um, there is another area in the Goo Caverns that we can go investigate. Uh, and then there are also the two other Brotherhood of Steel bunkers that we could go investigate. And I think that might be what we want to do at this point. Um, I think that this electronic lockpick lock is what I needed to get into the, uh, that other bunker. 
So that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Maybe uh, tr get some rare encounters as we go about doing some of these things. But we shall see. Anyway, that will all be next time. See you then, everyone.